two-thirds of university students in favor of socialism but don't know anything about Mao or Lenin? Let's have a look. Hello and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. I just have to go through this recent newspaper article from The Australian. Lots of people are sharing posts about a recent survey of university students here in Australia where two-thirds of university educated millennials are in favor of socialism. Just don't ask them who Mao, Lenin or Stalin are. So this is going to be good. In further evidence that the young are lurching to the left, a YouGov Galaxy poll commissioned by the Center for Independent Studies has revealed that 58%, so nearly 60% of millennials born between 1980 and 1996, oh shit, that means I'm a millennial, viewed socialism favorably. Oh, support was even higher among university graduates at 63%. Wow. Similarly, 59% were of the view that capitalism has failed society. Well, and 62% believe Australian workers are worse off now than they were 40 years ago. Yeah, they are. We are worse off now than we are 40 years ago, notwithstanding the economic data suggesting otherwise. Okay, so I'm wrong. The economic data, well, I think families are worse off now because everyone has to work. You know, you may have all these extra better pay and better perks, but if both of you have to work, then, you know, it's kind of not a, not a choice anymore. Yet, despite the millennials' embrace of socialism, a system whereby government has ultimate control for the economy and society, or how can anyone even think they want the government to control it? Anything they control, they bugger up, where the promise of equal opportunity, opportunity and a welfare safety net comes at the cost of individual freedom. Few respondents were familiar with some of the most famous historical figures. That, that's insane. Of the 1,003 people polled, only 21% were familiar with Chinese communist revolutionary Mao Zedong. 26% were familiar with Lenin. 34% knew Stalin. Combined, the trio are responsible for causing the deaths of more than 80 million people. But it's not real socialism. It's not real socialism. No, we're doing better this time. You know, nothing wrong with socialism as long as you're at the top. And I'm sure they all would be because, you know, they're the educated elite. Center for Independent Studies executive Tom Switzer said socialism's rise in popularity was alarming. A problem with the young is they fail to put contemporary events into a broader historical context, he said. We've had 27 years of uninterrupted economic growth, so these young people have not seen a recession or an economic downturn. Now... I'm technically a millennial, and I remember the recession that Australia had to have. See, the difference is my parents were small business owners, so when the recession comes as a small business owner, you can feel it. Maybe it was just expressed to me as a child a bit stronger. Mr. S uh, Switzer warned that the shift to the left could have significant implications as millennials, of which the oldest is now 38 move into positions of power in government and business. Oh, shit. It's all going to go to hell. RMIT students. RMIT. RMIT, one of the poshest universities in the in Australia. Students Grace Cunningham and Ed Hurst said they identified with aspects of socialism, but they don't prefer, profess to be experts on its history. Sometimes I do think I'm a socialist. I support more public housing, and I think the government should do more on jobs for young people and the environment. Now, this is the problem with democracy, that people who don't really look into anything have equal votes to people who do. Yeah, it's just, just the problem with democracy. Maybe, maybe we need to go monarch. You know, may, I, I could be a good king. Emperor Florian. Sounds good. Mr. Hurst, also 22, said it was hard not to be a socialist when attending university. Well, yeah, that, that I can give him that. Honestly, I can, because if he probably wants to meet girls, you know, he's probably still allowed to look at girls. Oh, wait, no, he's from Melbourne. No, sorry, you can't look at girls anymore in Melbourne. That's not allowed. Oh, well. And he finishes, there's a real feeling that socialism is the right way, he said. Oh, how <laughs> right way. Get it? The right way? No, it's not. It's the left way. You're wrong. Well, guys, I just wanted to share this stupid little article with you because Frankly, it's a bit of a joke. And um, 
it just shows that you know young people need to study a bit more history or our education system has let them down how could anyone be willing to go in front of the world stage and say they support this system when they don't even know the fact that it's killed millions of people it's like saying that you are a nazi it's like saying that you support isis this socialism this communism should be considered and ridiculed the same way because it doesn't fucking work okay guys thank you for joining me with this i hope you if you like my content please like share and subscribe and i will see you all next time bye